Playtime. Turn off UI hands. Uh, I'll leave them on just because I'm stupid. All right. I never watched The Walking Dead. It's pretty good up until like, I think after season six, it's just like a straight downhill, in my opinion. But the seasons before that, fuck, they were good. Especially like four and five. Those were like my absolute favorite. <clears throat> Jesus. Hey man. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Oh, why is it one, two, three? Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Every time? Every time. Oh, I can look around. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. What do you think? I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big messy trial like that, even if you was innocent, a lot of what happened can't ever be undone. Any of that seem important to you? All of it, but that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention, and you'll drive yourself crazy. Have a good night, Alyssa. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Not really. Well, too bad. <laughs> you might have the right to remain silent, but it don't mean I gotta be. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Whoa, you don't know that. Not even worth it. You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. That's my secret cap. I always worry about things I can't control. Why do you think I'm so fucked up? I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mom! Damn. It's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing uh -huh. his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show. People will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a hey, bit uh, more hilarious if I do hey, say buddy, so. I'm not going to say anything.
God damn. He got wha whacked in the face by his own baton. <laughs> Why does he look so submissive? Hey, hey, officer, are you all right? Look at his legs. I'm still cut back here. I, they're probably broken, but what submissive hell, legs. <laughs> Yes, yes. I need to drag myself out that window. My bad. How do I? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Calling a dead man submissive is wild. It's not as wild as you think, okay? Oh. Just look at him. <laughs> oh man. Can I pick up the shotgun first? Wait, I want give me the shell first. Oh. Sounded crunchy. I'm gonna take this too. Ooh. Looks empty. Yeah, man, that's why we got a shell. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. We're just gonna leave it? Okay. Uh, for sure, we'll go investigate the submissive officer. officer? God damn. <laughs> that's what I'm saying! <laughs> officer? Oh, yes. Give me those keys. Thank you, sir. Shit. You fu you serious? We doing this? <gasps> nice. Jesus. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. What in the hell? Oh, that was my shotgun. My silly me. little shotgun. Yes, sir. Shit. Of course. Oh, what? Okay. You? Don't make me do this. Uh, it'll be fine. There she is. Help! Go get someone. There, there's been a shooting. Bro? So smart. I love it. No, my 
bui Then you stop with all the crunchy bone noises? You don't like him? I like the crunchy bone. I don't think I'd yell out just yet. But well, whatever. Anybody up there? No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. I'd fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Help! <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? All right. Dude, I am pretty quick. Maybe I'll just go for a dip. Yeah, just a little dip, a little dippy dip. I wonder if anybody's home. Hello. Hello. Anybody home? I need a little help. Let me in. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. A unicorn. Why is the music so spooky? It's fake. Damn. <laughs> near the hotel so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out anyway he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight so we're staying an extra day thanks so much for looking after Clementine and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break message 2 left at 11:19 p.m. oh my god finally I don't know if you tried to reach us all, all the calls are getting dropped they're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Damn. Daddy? Huh? Bro? Why did I think there was going to be someone in there? Hey! Hello? You need to be quiet.
Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me. But I'm hiding until my parents come home. Fucking good luck. What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Where are you? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, yeah, that looked like it fucking hurt. Damn. Also, that smack on the head with the counter, I feel like I would have died there. Hi there. I would have been like instantly dead from that. Or maybe just have like a seizure. Did you kill it? Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah. It's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. Wait, do we have the hammer? Are we taking the hammer? We should take the hammer. I don't think we're taking the hammer. <laughs> I like that I can still sprint even though I'm limping. Ugh. Hey, Man. dudes. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Not hot dish night. Hey, yo, pimps. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Good night, Scobie. I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna <laughs> hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. 
Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then. You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. Hello, Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Uh, the neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... Your monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Why? Why did we stop? Bro, keep pushing. We stopping again? Okay. We need those guys, neighbors too. Probably. Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mom was gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Yeah, man. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Oh, I died. Oh, I took too long. I told him we could help him out. Fuck. <laughs> we really appreciate it. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. Sounds so good. It's just you and your daughter then. Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? <laughs> yes. Okay, then. Let's go! Well, Thanks, Clem! Looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. The fuck was yeah, that piece? This is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. I remember Herschel. How'd this happen? car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? A fucking prison, I man. Getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about on the road. Who are you with, the girl? Nobody. Is that so? Yeah, it is. You said we. That's all. House is full up with mine. Fuck. Another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. 
Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, I man. just did! Oh. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. And if your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. Uh -huh. Clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... Horse poop. Shit. <gasps> I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that. <laughs> that was a swear. Yeah, maybe. I mean, you get used to them. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. I love you, baby. <laughs> flashbacks, damn. I forgot what happened to, to Lee. Wasn't he going to prison because he supposedly hey, killed his wife? Oh my god! Oh. Itchy. Kenny? Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. I think that is Kenny. But I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, yes. Oh my God, it's Duck. Everything. I forgot about Duck. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. Oh, idiot. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable <laughs> treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. <laughs> but he makes up for it with enthusiasm. Uh-huh. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, <laughs> Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I wanna build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop. Yeah, down. let's go, Duck! His fucking I eyes freak me out. Little girl here on the porch. We can visit. I kind of want to know more about you. Hey there, girls. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale, like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? 
I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs <laughs> soon. Lee. Can we have Kazu ban, please? It can't stay like this. Chat. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll Thanks, Sinja. <laughs> back in a bit. Okay, Lee. He seems like an all right dude. Can I talk to him? He is. Hey there, uh, Kenny. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Nice. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Fuck no. I have no idea what I'm doing. At least you're honest. Shit. Better than I was when Duck showed up. You'll figure it out. Thanks, man. What'd I do? Kazu? Another comment about you edging or some dumb shit like that? You're staying banned. How you doing, Duck? Good! Drive the tractor. Let's go, Doc. Lift with your back, Sean. <laughs> go on, Sean. You heard him. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Okay. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bytes to length, that sure speed things up. Time for some honest work. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see Pretty things sure like that. Ducks listen. It's not like in the mind. movies. They don't fall like you think. I was gonna say maybe Do ducks listening, but Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one? Kinda dumb. Oh. Uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe. If it were far away. <laughs> I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? I'm uh, not too close with my family. Oh. Well, they weren't in Atlanta, right? So that's good. I guess so. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. No problem, man. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Sounds good. Oh, I see him. He's in the barn, as he said. My brain's kind of going mushy. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. Listen. I'm not sure I follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I was on my way out anyway. The timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh. If there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. 
Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was So, Milky, pretty good. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was a little fart. Too? Yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? No family. I had a betta fish on my desk at the university. I hope someone remembered to feed him. But now you've that got boy this little is dead as hell. Down. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. What? I'll give you a piece of advice. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun! No, duck! <laughs> Fucking idiot! I'll save Doc. I know he's an idiot, but I like Kenny. Oh fuck. Let go of him, you bastard. Well, I tried, Kenny. I'm sorry. Oh, here we go. Oh, damn. Um, I'm, I'm working on it. Go. Oh. Maybe not. Well, now you know how bad it is, Herschel. could help them both you thought wrong and now please just go get out and never come back should have reinforced that fence on oh, god if he was helping his son he would have helped he would have this wouldn't have happened that ride to make it if you want it hell yeah we were gonna leave with Kenny anyways it doesn't doesn't matter that that much I mean it kind of matters I I did like that guy that guy was nice 